Big, slippery, and stinky. We're talking about cobia. So cobia, or black kingfish, are one of those things that you can find absolutely anywhere. You can find them on wrecks, shipping markers, oil rigs, reef, bull sharks, manta rays, eagle rays, sitting next to stingrays on the bottom asleep. You can find them pretty much everywhere. Cobia can grow over two meters long and over 80 kilos in weight. The biggest I've ever shot was 26 kilos on a shore dive in northern New South Wales. I was about 18 at the time and yeah, a little less hair. Anyone that's fished for Kobe and knows that they fight hard and dirty all the way to the surface. So naturally, some situations are more ideal than others. If you could engineer a situation to shoot a cobia, this is it. Beautiful clear warm waters, rubbly reef with not much structure on the bottom, mid water and not spooked at all. One thing to be extremely careful of with cobia is their dorsal spines. Just in front of their dorsal fin, there's a row of really sharp little spikes. I'm pretty sure everyone that's caught their first cobia has got done by these before. Next situation isn't so ideal. There's a fair bit more structure on the bottom, a little bit of a cave, and the fish are a bit spooky. If you can keep them away from the structure and tire them out, you'll have no problems landing them. This situation is not ideal, not great. Don't do it, probably not smart if you want to hold onto your gear. Massive shipwreck, two big cobia, and just a bit of good luck. This was ridiculously lucky that this fish didn't swim straight through that wreck. Twenty two kilos fighting all the way to the surface. A couple of golden trevally and then two big muddlings sitting on top. Oh. Last situation, also not very ideal. My least favorite situation for a cobia. Big bull shark, big cobia. I guess you just need big balls. Lucky for Rick, the bull shark disappeared. Remember guys, these fish are very powerful and you can get into a lot of trouble really quickly. No fish, and I mean no fish in the world is worth your life. If you're not prepared to lose your gear, let go of your gun, lose your float, lose your spear, whatever it is, don't take the shot. The fish will be there for next time and so will you. 